Evening, I'm Candace Aviles. Police have identified the body of a boy found near the mangroves of Lake Magori on the 4th of July. Investigators say Jarvis Delaford was just 16 years old. A fisherman found his body surrounded by alligators. As 10 News reporter Madison Allworth shows you, police are still trying to figure out how he got there. The search for Jarvis Delaford started on June 29th after he cut off his ankle monitor at his home in St. Petersburg. Days later, he was found here at Lake Magori dead. Now, police and his family are trying to figure out exactly what happened. But he's always in my heart and he's always next to me. He's still living. Maybe not physically, but to me, he is. The body of 16-year-old Jarvis Delaford was found surrounded by alligators on July 4th. Today, the police are still working on a cause and time of death, but they know exactly when the St. Petersburg teen went missing. He had been released from juvenile detention earlier that day, and he was on an electronic ankle monitor, um, and he cut that ankle monitor off, which automatically gives an alert. The family has been working with St. Pete police since Jarvis cut his monitor around 7 p.m. on the night of his release. The news that his body had been found and that he had been partially eaten by alligators is the last thing they wanted to hear. Jarvis did a lot of wrong, but Jarvis did not deserve that. Jarvis was not no nasty hearted person and he was not the way he, a lot of people presented him to be. And I just I hope we find justice for Jarvis and there's not no hope. I'm going to have faith in God that I'm going to find out. Who did this to my brother? At this point, police are still waiting on the official autopsy report, but they say there are no signs of foul play. But the family says Jarvis would have never willingly gone near water. Jarvis is not an ordinary child. Jarvis don't go to no beaches. He don't even play around water because he don't know how to swim. Police still cannot determine exactly when Jarvis passed away. But Lieutenant First said he most likely passed away earlier than the morning of the 4th because of the level of decay. For now, the family is focusing on figuring out the truth and remembering Jarvis. All good memories. All his, all our good memories are way to bad. To be honest, I don't even dwell on the bad memories. I try to think about all the good stuff.